the Rondo series, were the first time that I actually set out to find a new vocabulary with some articulated reasons. I have done public art for 50 years, and I've been very aware that public art has had a very wide range of responses. And abstract public art has, has often um, not had a good public response. So I actually decided to see if I could figure out a vocabulary that would solve some of these problems. And I started with the practical. And that was that um, I said, I'm going to see if I can discover a vocabulary that will be in a medium that will require no maintenance. And then I said, I want to be come up with a vocabulary that can be enlarged, that can be very large, but be a friendly in, in, in a natural and park-like environment. Well, well, the other aspect is that I thought that the, the emotional story, the emotional song of the sculpture should be energetic and upbeat. The, for the, the openness, uh, I realized that the rings were a, a, a perfect way to get a large shape um, with a, that doesn't use a huge amount of material, but that also where uh, works w with bringing the shapes into them. Just at that time, um, I would, had been approached by the um, Botanical Garden at UC Berkeley uh, to have an exhibition in their botanical garden. I made five of the big, scu big sculptures for, for the UC Berkeley. What happened was immediately there was incredible response to them. And they, they are really doing what one hopes that public art will do, because they attract people. And people feel like they want, they're drawn to them, and then they want to interact with them. So there's a certain amount of, of, of climbing and walking through and all, which is, which is fine. Uh, they're stainless steel. They don't, no, there's, they don't, they don't get damaged on that. Uh, if they got a little bit of mud on them from shoes, they just wash off. It's very, um, it's very rewarding because people are really drawn to them, and they do, they really do interact with the nature around them in a very friendly way that incorporates the uh, the surroundings in them, so they can be really very large with with still being a good neighbor.